Hey, what's the word, players? Welcome to another episode. So, lately I've been playing Yakuza 0. I know, late to the party. And I gotta say, the game is a blast. Yakuza has always been a series that I've heard so much about and have wanted to get into for the longest time. As I was playing, the thought popped into my head. What if Kiryu became a Christian in an alternate timeline? Now, please note, I'm not trying to rewrite the series or anything like that. This is the fun little what if, nothing more than that. But before we get into the rest of the video, just want to let you know that if you like this video and you'd like to see more, please consider like, comments, and subscribing. It really helps out a ton. For those who don't know, Yakuza is an action adventure crime drama series where it mostly follows Kazuma Kiryu a member of the Dojima clan who gets wrongly accused of offing a man he came to collect from. In Yakuza 0, the first game in the series, we follow his path to uncovering the truth of the murder that framed him, as well as learn what is the significance of the murder scene known as the Empty Lot. In preparation for this exercise, what I wanted to do is I first wanted to consider what Christianity would have been like in Japan during the 1980s. So Japan actually has a lot of interesting background with its relation to Christianity and a lot of it would be totally outside the scope of this video. So here's the clip notes version. Christianity was introduced in Japan in 1549 by Francis Xavier. At first Christianity was welcomed, it was seen as a cool new idea, but then later on it was banned and outlawed and persecutions happened and you could be put to death if you identified as Christian. It was crazy. Fast forward to the Tokugawa period, which is known as the period of isolation where Japan closed its borders off to the whole world, including Christian missionaries for about 200 years. Come the 19th century when Japan opens up its borders again and Christianity is reintroduced to the country. However, due to isolation for about 200 years as well as the persecution that happened before the isolation, Christianity has had a hard time taking a foothold in Japan compared to other parts of the world. As a result, Japan has a very interesting view when it comes to religion. Now, even though Shinto and Buddhism are highly prevalent throughout Japanese culture, they're seen more as traditions or things that you typically do in your everyday society as opposed to something that you identify with. Christianity, being so far removed from when it was first introduced to Japan, is seen as a Western religion. And as such, it makes it very hard for Japanese people to accept it but just like with fashion and hip hop, Christianity is one of those things where younger people in Japan took a notice and was willing to learn more about because it was just so different compared to everything else that they've learned in Japan. I've barely scratched the surface of this topic, but like I said, that's going way beyond the scope of this video, so I'll just leave some interesting articles down below. Let's get back to Kiryu. Despite his initial impressions coming off as intimidating due to the fact that he has a default angry face and of course the fact that he can hit like a truck, Kiryu is actually very kind and wise. He's also willing to help and serve those he comes across. Kiryu could have the entire mafia coming after his head, yet he'll still take the time to help a little kid get his video game back that was stolen. For Kiryu to be introduced to Christianity in the first place, he most likely would have had to bump into someone in the streets of Kamurocho evangelizing and find people out to study the Bible. Of course, keeping with the spirit of Yakuza, this interaction would be presented as a new sub-story, which is this game's version of side quests. This would lead Kiryu to study in the Bible for maybe a few more sub-stories. So Kiryu studies the Bible for a little bit, he declares that Jesus is Lord, he gets baptized, and boom, he is now your brother in Christ. So, what does Christianity look like for someone like Kiryu? I have some thoughts. So, based on what I have played of Yakuza 0 so far, what I can tell is that Kiryu is kind-hearted and he's very accepting of others. Now, to me, he just straight up embodies Matthew 7. Do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. How I see it, I think that Kiryu would be very good at evangelizing because he's very good at connecting with people and helping meet their needs. 
even if they're not interested in coming out to church or studying the Bible, the sheer fact that he's helping meet their needs is still a great example of being a reflection of Jesus. Now, let's not forget, this is the world of Yakuza, after all, and fists speak louder than words. This is where it gets a little bit tricky, but I think this is how Kiryu would navigate this kind of dilemma. Before becoming a disciple, Kiryu would never go out of his way to get into fights. It's only out of self-defense or to protect someone, and he never kills anyone, but he makes sure that he snaps them out of what they're doing. As a disciple, this would still pretty much stay the same. I know what you're thinking. Hold on, I thought Christians were supposed to not fight and were supposed to turn the other cheek or something like that. And Jesus does refer to turning the other cheek in Matthew 5. Now what Jesus is referring to is for us to not retaliate in equal measure. So if someone slaps you, you slap them back for example, but to retaliate in love. Heck. Jesus even encourages his followers to take it a step further just to really throw off their offenders. Now, there is a distinction here between when someone wrongs or humiliates you versus when someone is putting the life of you or someone dear to you in danger. In the Old Testament, you see some examples where self-defense is not shamed, but is in fact pretty wise. One example is found in Nehemiah 4 when the Jews are rebuilding the wall around Jerusalem. If we head over to verse 16, it says, From that day on, half of my men did the work, while the other half were equipped with spears, shields, bows, and armor. Those who carried materials did their work with one hand and held a weapon in the other, and each of the builders wore his sword at his side as he worked. Keep in mind that these swords were just to defend themselves if anything were to happen. They didn't go out of their way to get into a fight. This is one of those things where it's really important to really get tuned in to God, get into his word, get into prayer, and really just practice good discernment. Let's put Psalm 119 into good practice. Teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I believe in your commandments. Let's get back to Kiryu for a sec. Let's just say he's just walking down the street, minding his own business, and then suddenly a bored biker or hooligan runs up on him. What's he supposed to do? As a disciple, this is probably how he would handle things. The first thing that he would do is he would try reasoning with them. This would probably be one of those cases where a dialogue tree pops up and you have to pick the right choice in order to get them to back off. If that didn't work, the next option he would do is if it's money that they're after, he would do that money throw trick that he learned from that one weird witch guy. They scoop up the cash and he would just walk on by. Let's say these are guys that just woke up and chose violence. Well. Probably the last person you want to go up against is someone who used to be in the Yakuza. Now even though he's a new being in Christ, let's not forget that sometimes old habits die hard from that old life. Sometimes you can take the man out of the Yakuza, but you can't take the Yakuza out of the man. Just because he's a Christian doesn't mean that he's perfect. Now I will give Kiryu this, if it came down to throwing hands, I'm pretty sure that he wouldn't go so far as to do... or... And he definitely wouldn't go for. But he would do enough to send a message, you don't want to mess with him. The more I think about it, the more I think that Kiryu would probably be the closest to Peter in the Bible. A bit abrasive at times, but well-meaning and full of fire. I think that pretty much covers what I think that Kiryu would be like as a disciple of Jesus. What'd you think? Was I pretty close? Do you think I was really off? What other characters in the Yakuza series would you like me to cover next? Though, keep in mind that I'm still in the process of being Yakuza 0, so it might be a while before I tackle other characters. If you're looking for a church to be a part of, I'm part of a non-dominational church. Down in the description below will be a link to our church locator so you can find one of our churches near you. If you're interested in studying the Bible, let me know. We can set up something through Discord. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you'd like to see another video, you can click on this one, or otherwise, I'll see you next time. Peace! The way of a Yakuza, a life where you have to live by a strict code, where you have to get your hands dirty, a life where you get put into a ball and have to run obstacle courses within a time limit. The Yakuza is not for the faint of heart, so sometimes you gotta let it all out and cut loose. Dame, dame. 
ダメよダメなのよあんたが好きで好きすぎてどれだけ強いを避けても歪まない思い出がバカみたい Anyway. 